What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Today, we've got a little different of a topic for you. Yes, we're going to be still in the Call of Duty world, but all the way across our world for the destination of today's topic. Well, that is at least for me. But today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Online. Normally, if it doesn't relate to the mass majority of us, I wouldn't report on it. But Call of Duty Online has been a project I've been keeping a close eye on every so often just because I find the premise of it to be so cool. So what is it? It's a game for China that is a combination of every single Call of Duty from Call of Duty 4 up to the original Black Ops, but more is planned on being added in such as components from Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Ghosts, and even Advanced Warfare. Now the absolute best part, it's a free to play game. So why do the Chinese get this cool spin off for no charge while we're over here paying $60 for each title? Well the situation over there is a little rough and a little confusing. I tried to dig into it previously and though some of it is very cut and dry, the politics behind it is at times very hard to follow. Basically, without trying to sound like someone who knows international politics and game marketing, China doesn't have access to about 99% of the titles we do because of a large ban on consoles over there. It's been since easier to get consoles, but they are still very scarce. So if that's the case, how did Call of Duty ever even get discovered over there? Piracy. Welcome to the 21st century, my friends, where anything and everything digital can be found for free with no penalties so long as your ISP doesn't care. But seriously, piracy has made a name for Call of Duty over there, and with restrictions coming down slightly, Activision has taken the idea to the Chinese themselves. Chinese developer Tencent is now working with Activision to bring Call of Duty Online to China for all to play. Working with Raven directly to build up the game, all this work will lead up to an open beta at the end of the year in which everyone can apply to play. Now, for those who have actually heard of the game already. That's mainly due to the fact that there's already been two closed beta sessions this year, a third one set to start this summer. And I'm assuming since it's made waves in the community previously, that a lot of people want to be able to be a part of it. It is possible, but it's extremely hard. You need a beta account first, as well as you need a way to trick the servers into letting you into the game. I say that because the servers are coded so that the ISPs from China's are the only ones that are valid. So if you were to get away from that, you'd be golden. And there are ways, but they're hard to get a hold of. And if you do, enjoy all the cool integrated COD epicness, as well as a probable minimum ping of 500. So before we end today's video, what's probably the coolest part of all this is the co-op mode. I reported on this a good while back when it was first introduced, but what it is is cyborg zombies playable on the reimagined Nocturne Toten with hellhounds and a boss cyborg. It'll get pretty crazy. A lot of people theorize the reception of this was a marketing point to see what Advanced Warfare's co-op mode would be. An example, if it was received well by the community, then it would be a cyborg zombie zombies type of game mode that we'd be seeing in Advanced Warfare. But I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole different story right there. Let me know what you think of all this. And if you're going to follow this for yourselves a little bit, hopefully this piqued your interest just a bit. No, it's nothing regarding something that would be relative to us, but I just find this whole version of Call of Duty absolutely awesome and completely intriguing. So that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you're OG like that, are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty content, any news information, you guys know exactly where to find it, right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.